we're coming to the end of the year. It's already ended in some other places. In New Zealand, it's midnight right now. Their new year has started. We still have a little bit of the old year left. So let's do, let's do some good with it. Squeeze as much as you can out of the end. In terms of virtue, concentration, discernment, generosity, goodwill. What makes a day auspicious, what makes a year auspicious, is not the stars. It's not the things that happen to you, it's the things that you do. You might think of this as your old year bucket list. What are the good things you want to do before the year ends? Practicing the Dharma should be number one priority, because that's your real refuge. Time passes, a new year will come. And pretty soon it will turn into an old year, and then there'll be another one. And as the body wears down, what do you have to show for it? Well, the Dharma practice, that's all you have to show. And the Dharma practice is something that's of solid value. No matter where you go, the fact that you have this in your past is a good thing. They talk about the causes for progress in life. And one is having had done meritorious things in the past. And that's something you can work on right now, because tomorrow, today, will be your past. And if you've been working on good things today, then you have good things in your past, good things to fall back on. So as time slips away, slips away, and it takes our bodies away with us, and in some cases it takes our mental faculties with us, with it. But it doesn't take away the good things we've done. The goodness we've left behind in the world will be there to meet us, whichever world we go to. So think about giving an auspicious end to this year. This is a year when a lot of people have suffered. But the suffering that comes from outside is one thing, the suffering that you create for your own mind. That's something totally unnecessary. And the human world has its ups and downs. But the human heart doesn't have to have those ups and downs. You've got your human heart right here. And so make sure that it's always thinking of good things to do, good things to say, good things to think. Things that will be for its advantage and for the advantage of the people around you. Because it's not the case that every kind of happiness requires that one person gains and somebody else loses. That's the happiness of the world in terms of material gain, status, praise, sensual pleasures. But the happiness that comes from Dharma practice, generosity, virtue, the training of the mind, that doesn't have to take anything away from anyone else at all. So in that sense, you've got something that your, happen, your way of happiness is a gift to other people. There's so few types of happiness that that's true for. But here's one that is. It spreads its goodness all around. Instead of creating divisions like the pursuit of wealth, the pursuit of goodness creates harmony, overcomes divisions. When you see the goodness of someone else's heart, you appreciate it no matter who that person is or where they come from. And other people will appreciate the same thing in you as you develop more and more goodness in what you do say and think. So even though this old year will slip away pretty soon, you can keep on squeezing goodness out of every day. And that way you make sure that every day you live is an auspicious one. You stay here, you stay well. When you have to go, you go well. That's a sign of a life well lived.